Okay, I'm back in the shop. I've got a Cherokee in the shop here that's due for a 500 hour inspection on the magnetos. I took the magnetos apart and I changed the points and I tested the capacitor. And before I put it back on the airplane, I, have, I built a little test rig here that I use for, for testing them. I'm gonna show you how I work it here. It's easy to build one too if you want. This, uh, this is an actual tester that was manufactured and it was broken, so I cut the part off that I wanted and I just attach leads to it. I use it for, uh, for testing complete systems and I use it for testing them after I change points or just to even troubleshoot. I use it for troubleshooting a lot. Uh, if you look in the manual, they'll tell you all about the, the tester, but they're really hard to find. I guess the overhaul shops generally have them, but they, they tell you about how to set it up. But this is just a, uh, a brass bar and these are tungsten electrodes welding electrodes and you can sharpen them and adjust them you don't need to do these ones here these uh these are for grounding it out if you don't want that spark plug to fire uh during the testing procedure i did read the manual on that tester one time before but you can even go right into the back of the magneto with uh with clips and just make sure the wires are separated and go right to the back of the tester here if you want right now i've just got test leads on there but i make sure there's a gap so they're not touching anything and then when I do run the system, it doesn't spark through. It. You, can, you can watch it just at the tungstens. So I'm going to run it here. Okay, so my first run here, I'm going to... I just run it with a battery-powered drill. And I'm going to spin this. And of course, uh, the rotation of these magnetos is counterclockwise looking at the drive because it's a, a, a L in the, uh, in the part number. And it's easy to tell on ones that have an impulse coupling because it, it only turns in one direction. So you can use the same direction on the second magneto. Anyway, I'm just going to run it and you can watch what happens here. I don't know whether you can see the spark here. I'll put a, do a close-up of the spark with it running uh, after I do this. So I'm just going to run it and watch the impulse coupling. There, and it disconnected and it's running steady now. And that's about uh, 350 RPM. I checked the RPM with this drill. And then I'll put it into uh, high speed. And this is about uh, 1300 RPM when I go wide open. And as you can see there, I got a nice steady spark. So here's a close up of the, uh, of the spark. Again, I'll run it with the impulse. Okay, and now this is the uh, the magneto without an impulse coupling on it. I'm just going to run it a little bit here so you can see it run. There'll be no impulse on this one. The uh, instructions also tell you that you, you can't uh, run them for more than five minutes because the bearing uh, or the, uh, the seal at the end of the magneto will, uh, will get damaged. So I always uh, put some oil on the end of the drive. I just put oil down inside there. You can see it. I have an oil can here and I oil that before I do it. So this is really handy if you have an airplane that has a miss in flight and you pull your hair out and you can't figure out what in the world's going on. You can take the complete ignition harness off and the magneto and you just make a, a drive of some sort. I just use a rubber hose. That's why it's out of balance. It's not really balanced very well. I just turn it with a drill because it's convenient. And you can turn the magneto and observe the spark. I hope uh, somebody finds this helpful.